Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, I'm a blood or activist. I think blood or some active shit. You ain't never elevated so, but you was gonna elevate after this. Dead nigga. Big T still fed his shit. Firm still on some faggy shit. Yeah. Young Ill will crack his shit. Yeah. Tell the niggas in this battle shit. Yo, before we even get started, shout out to Black His and Hers for these hoodies. This packaging is dope, you know what I'm saying? Like, dope company. Check them out on Instagram, at Black His and Hers. Dope stuff. Ooh-wee. You know, I do the hoodies. I appreciate it, my boy. Good looking. Got the, got the. Do you know what it is, man? Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Salute to my man, Showtime. S.P. Chess, BX own Chess, salute to him coming out with his record. You know, he dropped the record the other day and now he's talking even more. He's talking about none other than B. Dot. He said, I don't think B. Dot is as nice as he thinks he is. He thinks he's on a level that he's really not. I'm ready to battle him. All they gotta do is set it up. This is chess, this is BX, this is the stick up to kid like pick on somebody your own size. This is the, 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 the you know, you, you know, you know, snapped in all these fucking arm bars like a snap at any moment. I like this. I never thought about B Dot versus chess, but I like this matchup a lot, potentially. Um, B Dot is coming off his battle with Charlie Clips where if B Dot gets through all of his material cleanly, he he wins. Because Charlie Clips, I think Charlie Clips only wrote one round, which was the third. Like his third, like we not even gonna do that. His third was crazy. His third, he got busy. The first round he did a lot of freestyling, but he's an impromptu, he does freestyling every day. Like he does that for a living on Wild and Out. He freestyled about my girl taking off the mask. Oh, now she wants to show her teeth. That's where I used to ski. Like, he does that for a living. Um, I had Charlie Clips win in the battle and pretty clear. Only because, like, if it's a battle that's even close, if somebody's stumbling or choking through they through a round, it's kind of hard to give them that round. I was pulling it up to see um, what it was on the drop as far as the numbers went, but I'm pretty sure that Charlie Clips got that. Yeah, they had Charlie Clips winning that battle. Uh, 1,500 to about 500 for B-Dot. And it's only because he choked. Like, literally, if he wouldn't have choked, he would have probably got Clips out of there. But Chess is talking heavy. And the reason why Chess is talking heavy, because Chess had the battle of two, the battle of the year, 2021. His battle with Easy the Black Captain is the best battle. There's no battle better than that. I don't care who it is, what league, when it happened. It's just not. It just don't add up. It just don't add up. You know, that, 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 they went crazy on that one. Easy and Chess went crazy, period. Like, you can't even, who, nobody, if you seen that, but you kind of knew, though, like, when the energy, you know how, like, when you know something, but you know something's about to happen, and then it happens, and it's like, I knew that was going to happen. Like, that was what Easy and Chess was. Got that hard cover, you bring my paper back. Like, you knew. Who didn't know that that was going to be crazy? Hmm? You didn't know? Oh man, don't tell me, think about it. Cause when I get to that point, I already thought about it. Like that shit was, they was wildin' in that one. Uh huh, yeah, yeah. Once I get your egg fried, it's over, eat. Like, yeah, I like that. But now, um, Chess is like spinning the block to, to, to talk to B-Dot now. He's like, nah, nah, he ain't who he think he is. He's not who, as nice as he thinks he is. And I would like to prove it. All they have to do is set it up. Like, you set it up, and B Dot gets cleared, is what he's saying. Um, B Dot had a battle versus Av where he did phenomenal. Like, he was, he looked electric in that one. He was dangerous. I'm not gonna lie, he was dangerous. He was very, very dangerous in that one. Stages and crowds, and this is no hate, I rock with B Dot Elevate movement. He actually has some sneakers that he's dropping soon. You check the joints out. He's got merch. He's got some of the best merch in battle rap. 
Uh, he's got some sneakers that he's dropping soon too. So, you know, support B Dot in every way. Stages though, to me, stages have been, I'm not gonna say an Achilles heel, but have been a point of contention where if he's gonna take it to that next level, he's gotta be able to do it on stages in front of crowds. You know what I'm saying? It's not me telling you like, you know, that's the only glaring point, like the stages thing. Um, him versus JC was on the stage. That didn't go that great. Him versus Charlie Clips had a crowd in front of it. You know, that's that. And But when he does really, really good, when he's in them small rooms or on the rooftop, like nobody's rocking with him. Nobody, he, he's going to clip. You know, he, he, it don't matter. Like if he's able to just rap, just rap, like him versus Holmesy, him versus Ad, like he will clear you. Don't get it fucked up. B Dot will clear you if he's in his, in his zone and in his setting. But the only thing is that you got to be able to take that across a multitude of different areas like you know what i mean like the stage and there's a lot of people it's not just like he's not the only one that's like yo i gotta see him do it in front of uh a thousand people or 500 people you know what i mean like it's just one of them things because when he was talking about danny and surf it's like i would like to see danny versus surf but if it's in front of a crowd of 500 people or a thousand people one is more susceptible to performing in front of that kind of crowd than the other one is doesn't mean that the person's not nice doesn't mean that the person can't get busy it's just one of the aspects of the game. So, uh, I like this when it comes to chess because uh, chess took that step. Like, he took a step in, a, in the right direction. The thing that's so crazy about chess is that all these years he's been in battle rap, he's still a kid. Like, not a kid, but he's still mad young. 22, 21, 22. Bruh, he's been in the game for like five or six years, and man, is only... 21, you, uh, how is he only 21 or 22? How, how is this, it's been like 10 years. I just think it's 22 now. Like how the fuck is that possible, son? When did he start, he was 10 years old when he started this shit. Think about it, think, think about it. Chess been around for like six or seven or eight years. He's a veteran. He's only 22, he hasn't even scratched the surface yet. That's what I'm telling you. When I said this not too long ago, that chess, and I don't care how you feel about it, chess has the potential and career ability to be one of the best ever when it's said and done. He's got mad years. He could literally do this for another 15 years and only be 37. Some of you niggas watching this shit right now is 37. But he could, that's a long time. He could do this 10 more years and be 32? The potential is unlimited. Then he's in gun titles with easy. You know, he done battled easy, he done battled rock, he done battled, you know what I'm saying? Like, he done battled half the damn group already. What's up? What's up? And then he stepped in to take Surf's spot when Surf couldn't battle on Loaded Hollows. There was a lot of pressure when it was first announced. A lot of motherfuckers like, yo, what? Rock is about to step out there with who? Hell no. That's when Chess was going through the slump. But then he came out with the jing 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 the shell cases the 12 gauges that's a fire battle i might have to watch that joint again um but b dot is one of those mcs that uh lyrically he breaks down people he he's lyrically like enabled it so you know bread no but it you almost die because of that covid like he he'll break you down like he he can get he can get scary good b dot can get scary good and he can heat up on you in no time You'll be down a round, then you'll find yourself down two rounds. And then the third round, he's coming with some crazy, phenomenal angle scheme punches, and he's breaking you down. Like, but he, he, it, it, gets, it gets a little spooky with him. So you got to watch him. Um, but I like Chess actually calling him out, because when you call him out, you now control the narrative. It's like, no, all they got to do is set it up. That'll probably be what we see next. It should be. Why wouldn't it be? Why would we not see B-Dot versus Chess next when he's the one that's actually calling him out? I don't think he's as good. What? I don't think he's as good. Those fighting words where I'm from, I don't think he's as good as he thinks he is. Huh? I don't think he's that good. B-Dot, you got to stand on that. You got to, you got to address that. Only one way to address it. Head up. Straight up. They got to see each other. You know, niggas got to have that confrontation. That conversation, that equals confrontation. Um... Like I said, I respect B Dot a lot, musically, MC wise, and everything else that he's got going on. Chess had a bounce back year. He did a really good job. Uh, him and Jack Boy Main had some of the best bounce backs. To see Jack Boy Main go from 
an afterthought in battle rap where people was kind of like writing them off after the John John shit. And right, and I'm not gonna say rightfully so. I will say rightfully understandable. When you when you was in the position that you was in, you wanted the battle, you got the battle, and it went the way it went. Motherfuckers gonna write you off, especially when you ain't in that position. You know what I'm saying? Like John John is in the same was in the same scenario, but he's not the same position because he's accomplished more. So when you've accomplished more, you got a lot more to fall back on. You know what I'm saying? So when you lose a battle like he did to Surf, yeah, people gonna joke. Yeah, people gonna say you got 30. Yeah, people gonna say you died. But as soon as they book his next joint, if he shows up and gets busy, you know, it shows you where he's at with it. Now there's certain niggas who just can't clear certain niggas, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's just a certain levels. They say it's, it's levels, it's levels, it's levels, it's levels. There's certain people that can't get above certain levels and that's understandable. I don't think he's one of them, but uh, you know, it is what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all. Gang gang, talk to him nice, chess, BX shit. Hold on, turn the light on. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you. We out.